Former ANC Eastern Cape Provincial Treasurer Babalo Madikizela says the province has deteriorated under PTT convener Oscar Mabuyani. Babalo Madikizela and Oscar Mabuyani are going head to head for the party's Eastern Cape Provincial Chairperson position. Now, Madikizela welcomed delegates who are supporting him last night and called on them to accept money of people to try and bribe them. However, they must vote for him. The former provincial treasurer asked delegates why should Mabuyane come back when he has failed to transform the province. This is going to be an interesting weekend. Sam Kelo Maseko is there. He's covering this all for us. Sam Kelo, already there are so many things to look out for during this elective conference. Talk to us. What's happening this morning? Essentially, Leanne, the Game of Thrones is in full swing here in the Eastern Cape where Babalo Matigizela, the former provincial treasurer, is going head to head against Oscar Mabuyan, who is essentially his boss, as Babalo Matigizela is the MSC of Public Works in the province, who hails from the Alfred Nzo region, who's going head to head with Oscar Mabuyan, who hails from the Chris Hani region for the provincial chairperson position in the province. But there has been a marathon of meetings, particularly in the past few hours, trying to unite these two particular perspectives of the Eastern Cape province in having a unity slate in order to try and avoid the festival of chairs that we saw here at the ICC back in 2017 in the run-up to the NASRAQ conference of the African National Congress. This time around, it has been dubbed that it may be even worse as the festival of tables, but ANC leadership is hopeful that uh, that will not uh, degenerate into chaos in uh, this uh, provincial conference of the ANC in uh, here in the Eastern Cape. We do know that ANC officials last night at 8 o'clock did meet with the PTT officials of the ANC here in the province virtually where they were discussing issues of credentials for this specific provincial conference as there were uh, some doubts being casted upon this prov uh, provincial conference that there may be some issues particularly with some delegates not being allowed to vote, some being allowed to vote. Some of them were told that they would quarantine certain votes from one of the regions, Khabuswane here in the Eastern Cape province on the virtue of their branch general meetings failing audits when it came to the ANC's national organizing office. But Babalo Matigizela last night received delegates whom are supporting him at the EPSA Stadium here where he spoke about how Oscar Mabuya and the provincial chairperson has been in the leadership positions of the province for the past 12 years, first as a regional secretary, later as a provincial secretary in the province, but it also comes at a time when Babalo Matigizela himself was a regional treasurer of the Alfred Nzo region and later on became the provincial treasurer of the ANC in the province, but he says the province has seriously deteriorated under the leadership of Oscar Mabuya. Let's just listen to what Babalo Matigizela had to say to those supporting him last night. Renewal project. The time is now. The time is now to awake the sleeping giant. For the past 12 years, comrades. For the past 12 years, do your own assessment on how things have been happening in the province. Do your own assessment. Who has been in charge? Do your own assessment. Can you tell me, you tell the people of Eastern Cape, who are Mama who we have so well done? Essentially, that is Babalo Matigazela speaking about how things have gone bad in the Eastern Cape province under the leadership of Oscar Mabuyana. But at the same time, you cannot exonerate Babalo Matigizela because he was the regional uh, treasurer of the ANC in the Alfred Nzo region, which borders KwaZulu-Natal and the Eastern Cape around Port St. John's. And he later on became the provincial treasurer in the Festival of Chairs here in 2017. So whatever blame that is apportioned to Oscar Mabuyana in the province must also be apportioned to the rest of the regional leaders of the ANC who've been in the regional structures like Teres Tutu has been the regional secretary of Amatole region and you've got the likes of Kompela who is in their perspective as the deputy on the other side you've got Mvoko who's the deputy to uh, Oscar Mabuyana currently who's also seeking to come back as his deputy chairperson you've got Lula Manguga Itobi as well who is from the Artambo region and who has also been a regional secretary as well so it essentially speaks to how the province has been governed and is a resemblance 
turbulence of the leadership of the ANC and the state the province find themselves in. But it's not only about internal dynamics of the province. There's also a national connotation to this provincial conference of the ANC here in this province. Oscar Maboyane is seen as an ally of ANC incumbent President Cyril Ramaphosa. Baba Loma Tigezela and his perspective are pretty much seen as the rascals of the province. Those are kids who are ungovernable and who are impatient to take over the leadership positions of the province. But we do know that national leaders of the ANC from all particular factors have an interest in what happens to this provincial conference of the ANC in the Eastern Cape. We've got Andy Lelungisa in the camp of Babaloma Tigizela, who is an outspoken supporter of the radical economic transformation faction within the ANC. You've got Babaloma Tigizela on the hand, who's perceived perceived to be an ally of Zuelim Kiza on the virtue that in 2017, Alfred Nzo region were one of the few regions in the Eastern Cape that were openly supporting uh, the then Treasurer General of the ANC, uh, Zuelim Kiza, to take over as the president of the ANC. But essentially that did not transpire. You've had Babaloma Tigizela of late meeting with ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa to iron out issues of uh, what goes on in the future of the ANC. But he also alleged that those whom he is contending with may be trying to bribe delegates in order for them to win the conference. Let's just listen to him speaking about vote buying. Don't lose focus. We know they are money. They are in charge. We know some of them were bought by the very high offices. Among yeah. uh, folks of which if we put Amazon, we deploy uh, Amazon, we try stamps last and so on. No problem. It's in nice Isaac and now, but when you get there, do the right thing. As in two of them, as in a man, as in a next, we've got Foco. Yes. Yeah. We've got Foco. They will give you money. They will give you money because they are the part of the establishment. They are the heads. Twelve years ago, we saw the church tray you in charge. Yeah. Where can we get money? We don't have. They have money there for everything. Take the money from it, but do the right thing. Do the right thing. Essentially, that is uh, the dynamics here in the Eastern Cape. You've got the leadership of the ANC, the perspective of Baba Loma Tigizela accusing the other leadership of the ANC in the form of, of, of Oscar Mabuena and saying that they are the establishment, they are the ones who are in government, and they will definitely try to buy delegates, which is an issue the ANC has been grappling with on the issue of vote buying and how in conferences of the ANC are essentially influenced by money and those who've got access to resources. So it peaks to the deeper problem within the the governing party of how money is just loosely translated and loosely given to delegates within the governing party to try and influence positions of power. So that is an accusation that Baba Loma Tigizela is making against the Oscar Mabuena faction. But later on today, they will be having their head counts as registration processes would have been done. Our colleague Abongile Yankees is covering that aspect of the registration of the various regions. And later on, the two camps will have their head counts. And later on this morning at 11 o'clock, there is a final provincial task team meeting to find to fine tune and to sort out the issues of credentials for the conference Leanne.